Hello, I'm Janko from Tactical R&D, and today I'll show you our feature for maximum parallel transfers for secure transport. This feature was released with ST version 5.4, patch 14, and is not available in previous versions. In order for me to show you the feature, I first need to log into ST as admin. Then in the user account section, we have already created a demo user and an SSH transfer site. And we have also configured an advanced routing step called AR demo. Send to partner using the SSH transfer site as well. And in the subscriptions, we have created a pull and push subscription folder. This new feature works for most transfer sites. When you create a new transfer site from here, you see that the maximum parallel transfers will appear and it works for most of them. It doesn't work for folder monitor, system to human and pass it. So the default value is zero, which means that there is no limitation on the maximum transfers. Let me go back to the SSH transfer site that we created. Here you can see that we have limited the number to two. So we expect no more than two parallel transfers to be happening at the same time. Here we have added some default settings like the permissions, the download folder, the patterns, the server and the port, which are easy to set up. And we have not configured any post transmission settings. It's also important to mention that the limit is per transfer site which means that it doesn't matter how many accounts are using this transfer site. This is in case of advanced routing. Also, if the limit is set to two and there are 10 files in the subscription folder uploaded simultaneously, only two files at a time will be transferred to the remote site. And last but not least, if both limits from subscription page and from the transfer site are set, the most restrictive one will be taken into consideration. For our first demonstration, we have prepared four files, demo files 1 to 4, with 512 kilobytes each. And the scenario is the following. With our demo user, we are logged in here with WinSCP. We are going to upload them to ST and put them in the SSH push folder that we have already created in our, subscri SS, our subscription folder for push. And then the ST is going to push them with SSH to another server. And we are going to monitor both by using netstat to show that actually only two connections are happening at the same time. So now let's begin our demonstration. First of all, I'm going to open two consoles. The one on top is to our secure transport server and the one on the bottom is to our SSH server. I've already started the netstat listeners. Of course, nothing is happening yet because I need to start the file upload first. So I upload those four files to the push folder and now the transfers are going to happen. As we can see on top, only two parallel transfers are happening at the same time. And while we are waiting for the transfers to finish, it doesn't matter how many files we have. When we set up the limit to be two, only two of them are going to be transferring simultaneously. As you can see, one has been uploaded, another one started, then another one. And now when those four files upload is completed, no more transfers will start because our total number of files was four. And this proves that the maximum parallel transfers have been correctly applied. For our second demonstration, we have prepared multiple smaller files, one kilobyte each, and I'm going to upload some of them and put them in our push subscription folder. Again, what we expect to see right here in the console and what's happening right now is that only two parallel transfers are happening. Despite the files being much smaller and of course the transfers happening much more quickly, we can still see that the feature is working and the correct settings have been applied. I'm not going to wait for all of them to finish and I will now proceed to the next who demonstration. Our final demonstration is about 
pulling files this time. So our purpose, as you can see right now, the pool folder is empty. Our purpose is to have those four files that we used in our first demo appear here. So let's go ahead. And as you can see right now, they are on the server. So first of all, we are going to initiate the pool from the administrative console, from subscriptions, then we go to the pool folder and click on retrieve files now. This initiates the download and now we can see that again only two parallel transfers are happening. We wait a bit for them to finish. Now that the first two have finished, the second two have been initiated and again only two are happening at the same time and once they finish we expect to see those four files in the pool folder. Okay, they finished, so let's open WinSCP and check if they've been correctly downloaded. We refresh it, and voila, here they are. Our four files have been successfully pulled. With this, our final pull demonstration is completed, and we've reached the end of our video, which presented you the maximum parallel transfer feature for secure transport. We hope it has been informative, and we would like to thank you for viewing.